which of the triangles, triangle DEF, triangle GHI, and triangle JKL are similar to triangle ABC. And we have this triangle ABC. They've given us, or they've just marked one of the angles. And then they've given the lengths of the two sides on either side of that angle. And you might remember from geometry class, you can prove that two triangles are similar is if you can show, well, they have, they have they have corresponding congruent angles. So let's say we're trying to compare this triangle to this triangle, triangle J, J, K, L to triangle A to triangle A, B, C. So if you can show that they have two corresponding angles that are congruent to each other, and that the sides, the sides on either side, the ratio between the sides on either side of that, of that angle are the same, then you're going to be dealing with a similar triangle. So for example, if we say that this angle corresponds to this angle, they've already marked it to say that they're congruent, so that's a pretty good starting point. And if we could show that the ratio between this side and this side, side KL, is the same as the ratio between BA, BA and KJ, then we can say that these two are similar triangles. Now you might be thinking, well, how did I how did I decide to compare BC to KL and BA to KJ? Well, either both of these are are the two sides that essentially make up this angle, and BC is the shorter of the two. These are the two sides that make up this angle. Two, the, or there, both of these are the I guess you could say they're they're, they're segments of the rays. Or they're they parts of the rays that make up this angle. If you were to kind of kind of continue forever, if you were to continue forever, and the blue one is the shorter one, so that's the best candidate for being cor for KL is the best cor the best candidate that to correspond to BC. Well, in order to do this, we're going to have to figure out the lengths of these sides. We're going to have to do it for all of these triangles right over here, and they don't give us the lengths, but this thing is sitting on a coordinate plane. Now you could use the distance formula, but I like to just cut the chase. The distance formula is based on the Pythagorean theorem, and they've drawn a grid right over here for us. So we could just set up some right triangles to figure out. We can make each of these sides essentially the hypotenuse of right triangles. So to figure out, to figure out the length of KJ, we could set up this right triangle right over here. This height is 3. This length right over here, we could count it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units wide. If we wanted to, if they, if we couldn't count like that, we could say, look, we're going from x equals negative six to x equals three. Three minus negative six is equal to nine. Let me make that clear. And that's essentially where the distance formula comes from. Three minus negative six. You're finding the change, your change in x. And you're going to square it, and then you have your change in y, you're going to square it, and that's going to be equal to this hypotenuse squared. So let's think about, so this is going to be equal to the square root. I'm just using the Pythagorean theorem here. So I'll just, I'll just call it, so k, let me just write it out so you don't, you don't think I'm doing some type of voodoo. So 3 squared plus, let me do it a little higher because I have a feeling I'm going to use a lot of real estate. 3 squared plus 9 squared is equal to the length of kj, the length of kj squared. 3 squared is 27. Sorry, not 27. 3 squared is 9. 9. 9 squared is 81. And then that's going to be equal to the length of kj squared. Or we get kj squared is equal to 90, which is the same thing as 9 times 10. And so kj is going to be, it's the square root of this. So the square root of that is going to be square root of 9 times 10 is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 10, which is equal to 3 square roots of 10. So it's actually the exact same length as BA. Now let's do the same thing for KL. For KL, we could set up another right triangle right over here. So its height is 3. And its width is 3. This is 3 and 3 right over here. So we could write 3 squared plus 3 squared is equal to the length of KL squared. This right over here is 18 is equal to KL squared. And if you take the square root of both sides, 
18 is, of course, 9 times 2. So this right over here, this would, square root of 8, this is a square root of 18 is equal to KL. Square root of 18 is the same thing as square root of 9 times 2. That's just 3 square roots of 2. This is equal to 3 square roots of 2. So this is 3 square roots of 2. This is 3 square roots of 10. This angle is congruent. This angle is congruent to this angle right over here. So not only are not only are ABC and JKL, not only are they similar, but these are actually congruent triangles. These are congruent triangles right over here, but they're definitely all congruent triangles are going to be similar. So this one, this one is definitely similar. JKL is similar to ABC. Now let's figure out all of these lengths up here. Well, you have, let's see, this is one and one. So you could say one squared plus one squared is equal to EF squared, is equal to the length of segment EF squared. Or you could say EF, EF is equal to, let's see, this is two, so this is going to be the square root of two. So actually, I should have done that in that blue color, because this will be the shorter, we want this to be the shorter side on the, on, if we're comparing the two sides on either side of that angle. And now let's look at ED. Now let's look at ED. So once again, we can set up a right triangle that is one wide and three tall. And so we could say one squared, one squared plus three squared is equal to e the length of ED squared. See, one squared plus three squared, this is going to be 10. So we get ED is equal to the square root of 10. Now, is the ratio between BC and EF the same as the ratio between BA and ED? So let's write this down. So square root of three, or so three square roots of two over square root of two is equal to three. So the ratio between these two blue sides, between BC and EF is three. The ratio between these two orange sides is three square roots of 10 over square root of 10, three square roots of 10 over square root of 10, which is also three. So the ratio between these two corresponding sides are the same. The angle in between is congruent. So these two triangles are also similar. So EFD or DEF is also similar to ABC. So we have one more to think about. So HI is a candidate to be corresponding to BC. What's its length? Well, let's see. This is a right triangle that's width two, height two. So we could write two squared plus two squared is equal to the length of HI squared. This is four, this is four. So eight is equal to, is equal to the length of HI squared. And then we can take the square root of both sides. So the square root of eight is equal to the length of HI, or we could say the length of hi, or the length of HI, is equal to, let's see, this is four times two. So the square root of four times square root of two is two square roots of two. So this is two square roots of two. And then the candidate for, to be corresponding to AB is HG. It's the longer of the, of the two sides on either side of this angle. So HG, we can set up a right triangle. HG, we could set up a right triangle that looks like this. It's two wide and one, two, three, four, five, six high. So we can write, let me scroll over to the right a little bit. We can write that two squared plus six squared is equal to the length of HG squared. So let's see, this is four plus 36 is equal to the length of HG squared. Or we get that HG, is equal to the square root of 40. Square root of 40, let's see, how can we simplify that? That's, that's, that's the same thing as the square root of four times 10, which is two times the square root of 10. So HG is equal to two times the square root of 10. Now let's compare the ratios. The ratio between BC and HI is going to be three square roots of two, three square roots of two over two square roots of two, over two square roots of two, which is three halves. 
And the ratio between a b a, which is three, let me do that in that orange color, which is three square roots of ten, three square roots of ten, and h g, which is two square roots of ten, is also three halves. So all of these triangles are not only are they similar to ABC, but they're actually all similar to each other.